Well, it is really good that we avoided a senseless and catastrophic shutdown, but we are very far from mission accomplished. It's time now to roll up our sleeves, talk to one another, and get our work done. First of all, we need to pass a robust supplemental package that actually meets this moment by providing urgently needed funding for Ukraine, Israel, humanitarian support, and our allies in the Indo-Pacific. We cannot do just half of our job and essentially tell the world America only stands with some of its allies some of the time. Secondly, we don't want to be back in the same place again with funding in a few weeks, facing a devastating shutdown and no good options. And make no mistake, CRs are better than a shutdown, but they are not a good option. We have to get serious about our full-year funding bills, and that starts with getting on the same page when it comes to our top lines. The good news here is that ne that negotiating already happened. House Republicans just need to remember the top lines they passed into law under the Fiscal Responsibility Act, a bill that Speaker Johnson actually voted for, along with many other Republicans. And what's more here in the Senate, we have 12 bipartisan bills Senator Collins and I wrote that follow the terms of that deal. So I hope our colleagues in the House will spare us drama and dysfunction and further brinksmanship. It's not only unnecessary, but it is deeply dangerous. We may not agree on everything, but we can get something done if we put partisanship and poison pills aside. Compromise never means getting your dream bill. It means listening to the other side, making tough decisions, and writing a bill you can actually pass and get signed into law, and that will make a difference for folks back at home. That is exactly how Vice Chair Collins and I have been able to work with members across the political spectrum to craft our 12 bipartisan spending bills, carefully negotiated and with overwhelming support on both sides of the aisle, those are bills that can actually become law. I absolutely want Speaker Johnson to join us at the negotiating table so long as he leaves partisanship at the door and is genuinely ready to work in good faith on reasonable bipartisan bills that address the challenges we are seeing around the world and address the needs of families here at home, including childcare, WIC, and much more. Thank you.